Hello crew and how are you? Well, yep, I'm here. I told you I would be here for your questions if you have any. And uh, for those of you, I just don't want you to, to give up on keto. Keto is, a, is very good for your health. It is very good for your health. For those of you who are dealing with diabetes, keto is very good for your health. It will help lower your sugar, lower your insulin, and it could possibly get you off of insulin or any type of diabetes medicine. So keto is very good for that. I don't have high blood and I can actually say, and, and it's on both sides of the family. But I can thank God because, you know, knowledge, knowledge, when you get knowledge and you use wisdom with the knowledge, that's very powerful. So I found out about keto, but I started keto to lose weight. I did not really know all of the health benefits from keto. And I am so glad that uh, now I know the health benefits. Um, and it's important that you just know what to do like um, me doing keto well for you doing keto maybe you're starting it's important that you eat three meals a day three meals and make sure you get full with each meal eat until you are full um, if you're gonna eat three meals a day you can eat like 1800 calories a day if you want to count the calories it's really not important for you to count the calories it's important for you to count the carbs 20 carbs. I don't measure net carbs. I forgot. Let me see. Of course, I would pick up a box of stevia to find out what the net carb is on that. The next thing I have is a box of coffee. Of course, there are no carbs in that. But anyway, I don't, I just count the carbs. Whatever it says carb, carb wise, that is what I count for carbs. And so, um, 20 carbs. I told you guys by September 27th, I wanted to be down to 160. I was 174 two weeks ago. So today I got on the scale and I was I'm 169.2. That sounds good to me. Very, very good. But eating two meals a day, I mean you can eat three meals a day. I would advise you to let there be a 12 hour window, 12 hours you eat, 12 hours you don't. So if you start eating at seven, you can eat again at five or six, uh, five or six. You can eat again at 12, one, then you should eat again at six. So you're through eating at seven. And just let that be a window where you don't eat. Um, yeah, that's good. Let that work for you. For those of you who exercise, I exercise on an empty stomach. You can do it. You can do it. We've got so much stored fat that we will burn that stored fat. I know people say uh, you need the carbs. You need the carbs. And that's Isaac. Isaac, my son, he exercises. He is not keto. And uh, he does his oatmeal or whatever. Nope, I go out there on Karen's fat. Right now I'm walking. I am not going to the health club like I used to. I am walking. I do three miles a day and I do it on Karen's fat. I'll do coffee with some MCT oil and salt. And that's about it. So it gets me out there and I work up a real good sweat. Um... You can eat a meal when you come back. Make sure you get all of your vitamins and your, your minerals. So put some salt in your water. Get some electrolytes. Get your vitamins. Make sure you're doing that. Make sure you, For those of you who are dealing with pain, muscle pain, take a bath in some magnesium, which is, uh, what do you call it? Um, I can't even think of the name, Lord. Boom, 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 boom. Epsom salt. <laughs> Take a bath in some Epsom salt. Just sit in it for a while, like 30 or 40 minutes. Just sit there in that Epsom salt. You're putting magnesium in your body, and it will be good. It will help with uh, 
stopping pain. You can take, you can uh, him pink Himalayan saw guys. I am not talking about the straight white sodium uh, salt. I'm talking about pink Himalayan, even sea salt. Sea salt has a few minerals. Um, pink Himalayan has 90, I'm not sure if it's 99 or 92. I know pink Himalayan has uh, minerals that you need. And for those of you who want to do the sea moss thing, I've been doing that lately. I've been doing sea moss and some flaxseed. You have to make the flaxseed into, you have to grind that. Because if you put flaxseed in your mouth like the seed and don't break it up, it will come out of your body just like you ate. So you, I grind my flaxseed and I put that with the sea moss and drink that in the morning. And I'll tell you. I think it's doing something good for my body. I really do. I feel great. I feel great all day long. All day long. Now, I was, I take the ginger and the turmeric, and I haven't even been taking that lately because I wanted to see how the sea moss does. So the sea moss and the flaxseed. It's, I feel great. And it's that flaxseed is good for your, your bowels. It keeps everything doing whatever it should do on the inside. Mm hmm So I do that. Uh, but yeah, that's good. Sea moss, it's got, there's the gold sea moss, and it's got, I believe, 92 minerals. Now, if you're dealing with the thyroid problem, you have to be careful with that because sea moss has iodine. It's like seaweed, but uh, that's sea moss. And then there's the bladder whack um, and burdock sea moss. It's kind of, it looks just like seaweed. And uh, I, that's the one I do. And my husband does the other one. And it's good for it. If you got a sinus situation going on, sea moss is good for that. I've seen it work. So, uh, yeah, I get mine for Martha's minerals you can get that on facebook you can actually get it on facebook and instagram that's martha's minerals check it out um nice and thick i should have had a bottle sitting right here i don't but uh yeah i do that and uh you can do three meals a day two meals a day again 20 carbs this is we're talking weight loss here you can do one meal a day. You need if you do one meal a day. You need to consume like twelve hundred calories. If you do three meals a day, you need to consume uh, fifteen hundred. And if you do eight uh, three meals a day, you need to do eighteen hundred calories, about at least. And so I um, I try to get a little more than twelve hundred calories. I do the one meal a day, not because I have to. I just don't want to eat something. And if you go on a fast, just drink you some water, put some salt in your water. That will that will keep the uh, that will drive your hunger away. Yes, it will curb your appetite. Salt water, it just works. But I just want you guys to. Um, for those of you who you're just thinking about keto, uh, uh, if you dropped if you dropped off, get back on, get back on. And if you really want to gauge yourself, get those ketone sticks just to see how much, how often you're in ketosis. If you really want to get in ketosis quick, fast, fast, fast one day. If you really want to get in ketosis quick, I'm gonna say. Um, uh, fast, you can drink some coffee, put a little butter in there because that fat, the fat will help you get into ketosis. You can buy some exogenous ketones and that will help you. But the, the more you don't,
put in your system of proteins and carbs, the more you'll have to burn the stored fat already. So that'll help you get into keto ketosis and it'll help you lose weight. I just thought I'd say that. You know, I just want you all, I want to encourage you. It will keep you healthy. So make sure you try it. Okay? That's all I want to let you say. I told you I would check in every Thursday. It's Thursday. It's that time. So here I am. All right, you all have a wonderful rest of your day.